The Nigerian Army and the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria have signed a memorandum of understanding with the University of Ilorin for the development of a composite material to enhance local production of armor plates. The event aims at reducing the over-dependence of the importation of foreign equipment production of indigenous metal materials, reduction of foreign exchange rates to boost Nigeria's economy among other benefits. The Chief of Army Staff believes these will improve human capacity development among member parties and enhance mutual benefits as its products will be marketable across the world. In view of the rising need to bridge the gap between research, development and the industry, the Vice-Chancellor University of Ilorin, Professor Suleiman Abdul Karim, says it will focus the mind of the scientists and engineers on needed solutions to some of the challenges of the military. Highlighting the significance of the MOU, the Director General of the Defense Industries Corporation, Major General Victor Izugu, said the industry is making giant strides in improving local production to reduce high cost of procurement. We look carefully into selection of parties to this MOU. The parties to the Memorandum of Understanding were carefully selected to include both military and civil institutions. One is the Nigerian Army Institution that is saddled with the responsibilities to coordinate and promote science, technology, and innovation through research and development. And that is the Nigerian Army System Development Center, headed by Brigadier General Osunsu. Since the announcement of this MOU signing, I've been doing more brain work. And when I get down and sit down with those who are going to be brainstorming to do things for the Nigerian Army, there are many that I'm going to divulge to you because I believe the nation has a lot of things to benefit from for my early days in my career and the good things or better things that we are able to offer as university staff today to the industry. I want to thank the Vice Chancellor for also leading a very strong team to this meeting and it shows the seriousness he has attached to this uh, on the memorandum of understanding. Daikon, for instance, has produced this good variant of uh, mine resistant ambush protected vehicles, 10 units. It has been inducted into the theatre. And we we'll also have contracts with the Nigerian Army to supply 42 units of these vehicles.